Hello, and welcome to Sunshine Storytime. I'm Platy the Sunshine Platypus, and today we're going to be reading a story about Easter because it is a few days away and it is a lovely time to celebrate spring coming. And that's why I have this bright spring shirt on and I'll probably wear to my Easter celebration. And maybe you'll be celebrating too with some egg hunts or something. And we'll talk more about that after our story, which is called A Tale for Easter. And it is by Tasha Tudor. It's a very old story from long ago, 1941. That's over 80 years ago. So some of it is from stuff that they did back a long time ago, which I'll tell you about as parts of the story goes along. You can never tell what might happen on Easter. You're not always sure when it is coming, even though you go to Sunday school. And Sunday school is something that some pe children still do. Um, and it was more common back in the day when they went to school to, at church oftentimes, and they oftentimes wore outfits like that. You can guess it is near when Mama makes you stand still while she fits a new dress on you. And back in those times, a lot of clothes were handmade by people's mothers to fit just right for them. And then if they grew bigger, then they had to get new clothes made. But it is only when Good Friday comes and you have hot cross buns for tea that you know for certain Easter will be the day after tomorrow. Do hot cross buns sound good to you? It sounds yummy to me. On Saturday, you go and ask the chickens to lay you plenty of Easter eggs. Do you think that when the chickens lay them, they come out all decorated? Or do you think you have to decorate them yourselves on, for Easter? That would be pretty fun to have a chicken that could lay decorated eggs, huh? <clears throat> If you have been very good the whole year through, the night before Easter, you will dream the loveliest dreams. One will be about a wee fawn who makes you as light as thistledown and takes you on her back and gallops through the woods and fields. A fawn is a baby deer. Could you imagine flying off on a fawn through the woods? And look, there's an owl in the tree there. She shows you rabbits smoothing their sleek coats for Easter morning. I wonder if one of those rabbits might be the Easter bunny. and mice with beady eyes and shining whiskers. Little lambs, too, in fields of buttercups. and Easter ducklings swimming among the lily pads. If you have been especially good and done nearly everything you have been told, 
She will take you up, up over the misty, moisty clouds where the bluebirds dye their feathers and the robins find the color for their eggs. How would you like to fly up into the clouds? That sounds fun with the birds. But this is only if you have been good and can find the stardust on daffodils with your eyes tight shut. And when you wake up in the morning, there isn't any fawn at all, and you are just you again. But often there are colored eggs in your shoes or in your best bonnet. A bonnet is like a hat that they oftentimes wore a long time ago. And can you imagine finding shoes in your eggs? You'd have or <laughs> eggs in your shoes? You you have to be careful not to squish them when you put your feet in. Make sure you look first. And what do you collect your eggs in if you do Easter egg hunts? Maybe an Easter egg basket? Or a basket of ducklings, speaking of baskets, beside your bowl of porridge. That would be fun. Some baby ducklings to greet you in the morning with breakfast. There might even be a bunny in grandma's rocking chair. You can never really tell, for anything might happen on Easter. The end. So I am curious, what might happen on Easter for you? Do you have any fun plans? Do you celebrate Easter and spring coming? maybe with an egg hunt or spending time with your friends and family. Maybe you decorate eggs and draw on them with markers because that is one thing that I am doing. And I even wrote up, drew up with some pens, markers of my own, an invitation for all my friends and family to come to my Easter celebration. And it would be so much fun to have you too come find some eggs and decorate them with me. And I hope that you get to do it with you, someone that you love, maybe your friends and family or whoever you live with. And I am also curious of what Easter means for you and how you celebrate the coming of springtime. For me, I actually just went to the Carrizo Plains, a place around here, and saw all the wildflowers starting to bloom because that's one thing that comes with spring is lots of beautiful flowers. And I saw all kinds of beautiful flowers, yellow flowers and bright blue and orange and purple even, just covering all the fields. And it was all green because it's been raining and that's helped with the flowers growing. And yeah, what else is part of spring and things being fresh and growing? Some of the stuff that we read in the book. What about, do you have any ideas of what comes with springtime? I know something else for me is all these beautiful blooms on these flowers behind me. They're going to turn into big flowers and then leaves are going to come on the trees. Spring is a time when everything is being born fresh and animals like in the book all that's why we celebrate easter with eggs and little chickens hatching and baby bunnies and the squirrels it's when all the animal families out in nature are beginning to have their babies so that they can come out and play for spring and summertime and then also on the other side of me we have a bird feeder to feed the birds and that's something else that I really love about spring is all the birds in the trees singing their beautiful songs 
you like to listen to the birds singing their songs. And let's see, what else? Oh, I also was just hearing behind me. I don't know if you can hear them from there, but there's all the frogs that are starting there singing in the evening time now. And that happens also more in spring as more frogs are born. So that's fun too. Anything else that you like about springtime? Maybe animals that are born or other things in nature. And also, I wanted to talk about in the book, it said a few times about uh, being good, and that would be part of getting to experience some of these amazing things in our story and all the animals. And I am wondering what your ideas about being good are. For me, some of the things that I think about is how I can be good and help taking care of all this beautiful nature that we live in so that all these things can keep happening in spring, like the animals that are being born, all so cute, and the beautiful trees. So I like to think, well, how can I help take care of nature? Maybe I can put up a bird feeder to feed the birds, or maybe I plant some flowers that the butterflies and the bees like. Or if I have animals of my own, I take care of them. Maybe I have a bunny and I help my family feed the bunny if that's okay with them. And just other ways that I can take care of this beautiful place, this beautiful world that we live in. So I hope that you have some of your own ideas about how you can be good and help take care and make our world a better place and take care of everybody. So maybe you have someone after you finish hearing this story that you might want to share some of your ideas with. And I hope that you have a great time if you are celebrating Easter this Sunday and have a fabulous time with whoever you spend it with and you enjoy spring and all the changes of the seasons. Okay, we'll see you next time on Sunshine Storytime. Bye.